Yes. Right.
Yes? Uh -huh. Greetings once more, Upworlder. Do you bring news of my apprentice? Have you discovered her fate and proved yourself to be a true savior of my people? It is as I feared, then. She joins the list of those who have given their lives in the service of our cause. 
But though I am saddened by this news, there is yet hope. By finding my apprentice, you have proved yourself worthy, Upworlder. You are to be the beacon on our path to salvation. You will guide us to the Promised Land. You are marked, Upworlder. Even my dim old eyes can see the mantle of destiny that cloaks you. Perhaps old Rukil knows you better than you know yourself. I am old. I have lived a hundred years in the Undercity, cast down into the darkness. I know the legends and history of our people, and now you must learn it too. The great city of Taris covers the entire surface of this planet. There is no land to grow food. Kelp harvests and the creatures of the sea are our only food source. A century ago, rising levels of toxic pollution poisoned the oceans and famine swept the planet. The rich hoarded food for their own use and the poor were left to starve and die. From what I've seen of Terrace, it doesn't look like much has changed. Except for the upper city, people here are just as bad off as the poor in your little history. But the poor rose up against this tyranny, and civil war engulfed the planet. Millions died in the fighting, and huge sections of Taurus were destroyed or abandoned. The rebellion was crushed in the end. Thousands were taken prisoner. The jails could not hold them all, and so the practice of banishing all prisoners to the Undercity was born. Many brave men and women were banished here to the Undercity for their part in the Rebellion. People like my father and grandfather were cast down, along with their families. What did you expect? If they could get away with it, the Teresian nobles would stuff their own mothers down here to make more room in the Upper City. Now we live a dark existence beneath the streets of Terrace. A life devoid of all hope but one. The Promised Land. And you will be the one to show us the way to get there. Legends tell of a self-sufficient colony founded just before the famine and lost during the Civil War. A paradise beneath the Undercity where droid servants tend to every need. For many years I searched for the Promised Land, just as my grandfather and father did before me. When I became old and gray, my apprentice continued the search on my behalf. Sounds like a myth to me. Something to give the people here some false hope to cling to so they don't go mad with despair. I have collected many clues hinting at its location. The journal of my apprentice provides yet more information. But still, there are too many pieces missing from this puzzle. But I know my father and grandfather each had journals where they recorded their own discoveries. Perhaps with their journals, I could at last uncover its hidden location. Yes, Upworlder. Well done. However, I see that this journal alone does not have enough clues for me to solve this mystery. Too many pieces are still missing. I'm afraid that only with all three journals, my grandfather's, my father's, and my apprentice's. Will I be able to discover the location of the Promised Land? I will leave this journal with you for safekeeping for now. Perhaps it will aid you in your search for the others. I wish you luck, Upworlder, for the sake of the entire village.
saw you talking with Rukul. He told you his legends about the Promised Land, didn't he? He told you all about his missing apprentice and the other lost explorers, right? You know, most people don't believe his stories. They figure he's nothing but an old cook. But I think there might be some truth in what he's saying. That's why I want to stop him. For an outcast, I've got things pretty good. The village relies on me to bring in food and supplies. I'm an important man. If it wasn't for Gendar, I'd be running this place. I get the feeling if it wasn't for Gendar, this place would be a lot worse off than it is. But if Rukul ever finds his promised land, I'm sunk. People won't need to rely on me anymore. I'll just be another nobody like all the rest of the villagers. I won't let that happen. The two explorers who went searching for the Promised Land might have found something. They might have found clues or evidence, just like Rukul's apprentice. They would have recorded that information in their journals. I'll pay you if you bring all three journals to me. The two from the explorers and the one from Rukul's apprentice. Then I can destroy the evidence and make sure nobody ever finds the Promised Land. I've saved up enough credits for my business here to make it worth your while if you help me. Don't be a fool! I'm the only one here who can pay you for those journals. Rukil has nothing. He won't be able to come up with any kind of reward. Once you have all three journals, just bring them to me and I'll give you a decent reward. Now, was there something else you needed? Yeah, okay. You'll come back and see me if you want a deal. Ready. Like some kind of hideous disease. No! No! I can feel it! Thank you. 